Isn't that a beautiful people? I don't think I've made this video. I've talked a lot about healing my brain after benzodiazepines, and that's a different video in um, personal things or benzo healing, I think, playlist. This is my like supplement area medicine cabinet, and I have a lot of them up there as well. And the ones that I use most often are out here, and some of these are for brain health or whatever. But I want to show you what I do for immunity, and I usually start this protocol in August or September. So I made an Usnea tincture, so I use my own tincture, and I'm also selling it in my holiday store that opens November 25th, 2022. It's a one-time only thing because Usnea, you only forage it once in the spring, and then the tincture is used in fall and through winter. Maybe I'll make it again for next year. So I put a dropper full of that. And then, let me here. This is a reishi dandelion root tincture. And I got this from a friend of mine in Canada. But you can also make your own reishi tinctures or purchase them. And you can find dandelion root. You can also make it in the spring. A lot of the stuff that's interesting, it fruits in the spring and you have to <clears throat> know to gather it for the fall. One of the strongest mushrooms for immunity is the agaricon. This is also from the same guy that makes that one. Um, agaricon tinctures are very, very expensive, very hard to find. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of chalky looking. So I've already put those others in here. Then from the light cellar in Calgary, I have a pine needle tincture. It is also seasonal. Um, this is made, I think, in the fall. I know they don't carry it year-round. It is a seasonal thing. Um, but yeah, this is the light cellar. That's their logo. I use my lion's mane for brain health. And then these are reishi spores, cracked spores. If you don't know about the value of reishi mushrooms, cracked spores, you need to get on that. This is a very, very strong... Hang. Of course, turkey tail. This has been my protocol for three years now, and I rarely get sick, so that's kind of cool. So I just wanted to share my protocols with you and my medicine cabinet area. Happy fall, y'all.